right. So uh, first part is done. Yep. Yep. Let's go through what we did here. What did we do sure. first? Well, first we need to make sure that the wall is straight, uh, which in this case it wasn't. No. So uh, when we wanted to um, drill the bottom holes into the wall, we had to check um, the lowest point on the ceiling. So, which ended up being that corner. That so corner? that's where we started. We measured 35 or 33 mm -hmm. down from there. Then put on a leveler and uh, drew like a straight line. So the other ones would be on the same line. Yep. And uh, it would look nice from the bottom. Right. You can't measure 33 from every different place because the ceiling is uh, wavy in yes. this case. Yes. In most cases as well. In most cases. Yeah. yeah. So we started here and then we drew measured down to 33 and we did a parallel or a... Just a straight line. Yes, straight line. Level. Yep. And this hole here is 17 and a half centimeters away from this place. Yeah, since we have this um, cable covering uh, thing yeah. there, we had to take from the wall the length of the cable covering, uh, which was like 2.6 yep. centimeters, and then added uh, the 17 and a half to it. Yes. So we ended up uh, with, well, that place. For Good. The hole. So we have 17 and a half centimeter here. And yeah. then to the next hole, it's 60, right? It's 60. And then it's 40? Yeah, between those, yeah. it's 40. And then it's 60 again? 60 again, 40. And, and 40 and 60. and 60. And if we wanted to put up even more after each other, we would just continue yeah, with just 40, 40, 60, 60 40, 40, 40, 60, 40. And here you happen to make one extra hole. Yeah. Th thank uh, God I intervened and stopped you. Yeah. yeah. Oof, that was lucky. All right, so after we've drilled all the holes, mm -hmm. what did we do then? I'm saying we, but it was mostly you. But I, I gave you a lot of paternal directions. Uh, yeah. yeah. You call it whatever you want to do. <laughs> um, so. I think the next thing was to put in the plugs. Yep. Then put uh, on these mounts mm -hmm. that we provide. And uh, then uh, just screw them in. Yep. But not uh, tighten them too much because uh, the holes are actually kind of rectangular. Mm -hmm. So you could adjust uh, the height, yep. I guess. So uh, we uh, screwed the screws in mm -hmm. and then put uh, on the leveler again yep. so we could get them all on the same height. Yep. So these holes, the corner. Yeah, these holes behind the washers, behind the screws here, yeah. they are rectangular. Yeah, so you can the push them up and down. You could see. So with the leveler, we made sure that the bottom of all these mounts mm -hmm. were on the same line. Yeah. yeah. And what happened then? Well, then we uh, went on to the ceiling, yep. which ended up being... Uh, Concrete infused with iron. Yes. Um, yeah, that, that's when we went to this building shop and bought yeah, a completely bought new drill. drill. Yep. For it. Um, and then we basically measured uh, again 17 and a half. Mm -hmm. 17 and a half. Yeah, plus the 2.6 from the cable covering yep. part. And then again 60, 60 40, 40, 60, 40, 60. 40, 60. And pretty much uh, just uh, repeated the process uh, that we did on the wall. Yep. And so now uh, they are fastened. Yeah. Now Good. Okay. Now we will go over to the next part, right? Yeah. Excellent. So now we're going to place the back part of the Super Chunk Corner in place. So this part here, in accordance with the arrow, and place it along the line. Take one of the metal screws here. And the other metal screw. <laughs> and the black ones in the back. And last, the anti-glide system goes here. Just screw it in all the way to the bottom. This will be, this will be explained soon. Now we're gonna fasten the anti-slide line, which has a loop in one end. And we're gonna fast one slide line around each second of these wall mounts. 
like this. The other, the other end of it will go into the loop on the back of the uh, Super Chunk corner, which will be shown shortly. So this is how you fasten the anti-slide line. And the reason for the anti-slide line is if your wall um, is leaning or you have a, we actually had one customer who had a um, dishwasher standing against the wall on the other side and there were lots of vibrations. So we have this slide line and the reason for this is for the absorber to not be able at all to slide backwards. So it's just going to make sure that the absorber does not slide backwards. So we have fastened it earlier on the mount. You pull it through this loop on the back side of the absorber. And with this line, you basically just make a knot. And then maybe another knot. These lines are very good because they cannot unknot themselves. It's steel. Good. And the rest you can, of course, put here as well. Cool. Now there is no chance for the absorber to slide back. Mm -hmm.